people love hearing about uh, what you know brilliant folks like yourself uh, could recommend in terms of books. Uh, of course, you're an author of many books. So I'll, in the introduction, mention all the books you've written. People should definitely read Live Wired. I've gotten a chance to read some of it. It's amazing. But is there three books, technical, fiction, philosophical, that had an impact on you when you were younger or today mm. and uh, books perhaps some of which you would uh, want to recommend that others read? Uh, you know, as an undergraduate, I majored in British and American literature. That was my major because I love wow. literature. I grew up with um, literature. My father had these extensive bookshelves. And so I grew up in the mountains in New Mexico. And so that was mostly where I spent my time was reading books. But, um, you know, I love... Uh, you know, Faulkner, Hemingway. I love many South American authors, Gabriel Garcia Marquez and Italo Calvino. I would actually recommend Invisible Cities. I just, I loved that book. By? Uh, Italo Calvino, sorry. It, it's a book of fiction. Um, uh, Anthony Doerr wrote a book called All the Light We Cannot See, which actually uh, was inspired by Incognito, by exactly what we were talking about earlier, about how you can only see a little bit of the what we call visible light in the electromagnetic radiation. I wrote about this in Incognito, and then he reviewed Incognito for the Washington Post. Oh, no, Post. that's awesome. And then he wrote this book called, but we, the book has nothing to do with that, but that's where the title comes from. Yeah. All the Light We Cannot See is about the rest of the spectrum, but um, the that's an absolutely gorgeous book. Um, so a, that's a book of fiction. Yeah, it's a book of fiction. Won the Pulitzer Prize. What's it about? It takes place during World War II, uh, okay, about it. these two young people, one of whom is blind. Got and um, yeah. Anything else? So, what any? So, you mentioned Hemingway. I mean, old man, uh, old man in the sea. Uh, what? Uh, what's your favorite? Uh... Um, Snows of Kilimanjaro. Uh, oh wow! It's a okay. collection of short stories that I love. Um, as far as not as far as nonfiction goes, I grew up uh, with Cosmos, both watching the PBS series and then reading the book, and that influenced me a huge amount in terms of what I do. I as from the time I was a kid, I felt like I want to be Carl Sagan. Like I just that's what I loved. And in the end, I just you know I, I studied space physics for a while as an undergrad, but then I in my last semester discovered neuroscience. My last semester, and I just thought, wow, I'm hooked on that. So the Carl Sagan of the brain. <laughs> I, that is, is, my is, is the aspiration yeah i mean uh you're doing you're doing um an incredible job of it 